So we're going to start in shape four of the pentatonic with this A string root. Moving it up to shape one. From there we're going to go to the house of blues. Up to shape four again, an octave higher. Moving up again to shape one. And then the house of blues again, higher octave. So just with those two and a half shapes, we've covered the entire fretboard from the lowest note to the highest note of the guitar. So after you learn one shape, you don't have to learn all five. Just focus on these two and a half and you'll cover the entire fretboard. So that'll keep you busy for a very long time. Hey everybody, Gary here with Pound Music. Before we dive into the lesson, there is a free 14 page color PDF to go along with this lesson of the five shapes of the pentatonic scale and the order for learning the shapes, and that is in the description. If you're just getting into soloing and you wanna learn an ear-based approach to tasty riff making, Check out my soloing for complete beginners course with fret live animations throughout each lesson. The link to that is below and there's also a discount code. All right, let's get into it. So when people first start learning how to solo on guitar, they usually learn the first pattern of the pentatonic scale and usually in the key of A minor or A blues, which is... <laughs> And that is awesome. There's a zillion riffs you could play in that shape. It's the most commonly used shape. The problem is it only covers two octaves. And an octave is just from the root note A to the next root note A. So from here, we play those five notes. The pentatonic scale is a five note scale. One, two, three, four, five. And then back to the one. One, two, three, four, five. And then back to the one. So it's a two octave scale with an extra note on top. That's awesome. But then what happens next when students want to learn more how to get other places on the fretboard, they try to learn all five shapes of the pentatonic scale. So they go from here. Then they try to memorize this one. Then from there. from there. Now that's all fine and dandy, except only two and a half of those shapes are going to be your bread and butter. And two and a half of those shapes or patterns you can make a career on. This one little area of the pentatonic scale here, I call it the House of Blues, but also called the Albert King box. because the player Albert King almost exclusively used that little area of the pentatonic scale and played so many great riffs. You slide up two frets from this first pattern and then you have this house. I call it the house of blues. And there's so much you could do there. Especially this note sounds great bent. Right? slide in and out of it. So using shape one and shape four and that Albert King box that I just talked to you about can be your bread and butter and then from there you can start to add and borrow some notes from the other shapes. Right? So so much you could do there. Then from there you slide up two more frets and then you're in shape four. So from this shape, slide up two. And then from that shape, slide up two again. Now shape four might often be your primary one. What's great about shape four is that it has the root note on the A string. So as long as you know your root notes on the low E and the A string, you can find shape one. There's A, and then if you know the A on the A string, there's shape two, or even the open A. Or. So right there, by knowing shapes one and four, you actually have four shapes. You could play one and four up here, or you could play one and four down here. So then, you're covering the entire 
fretboard pretty much. So you can be here, there's shape one, into the house of blues. Then maybe you want to travel down to shape four again. So you had shape four there, then maybe you want to come up. So from there I went shape one, house of blues, shape four. And that's gonna cover pretty much the entire fretboard. So focus on those. Now the way that you get used to using all of them, whatever riff you learn in shape one, see if you can play it in either the house of blues extension or shape four. So let's say you learned a lick that went. Right? So you want to find that starting note either in the same octave or a different octave. So to find an octave from here, we go over three down two. So there's that note. So I go. Then I'm going to find it over here. There, there it is. So the way that I see it, shape one and shape four, the entire pattern is very usable. Pattern two, that Albert King box or the House of Blues is extremely usable and very common. Then there's little hot areas. So from shape four, there's this little area in shape three. might come out of that shape. So you might do something like, you know. Then from shape one, there's this little area in shape five, just these four notes. And then from here, that right there. So this is the framework, this is the order. Shape one, house of blues extension, shape four, then the ways out of shape one, or then the ways out of shape four. Now that's not to say that that's the only thing you should learn. I'm just saying just with that, there's a million things you could do and you won't feel limited on the fretboard. From there, you can start practicing playing pentatonics up an entire group of strings, the five shapes, finding hot spots in every single one of the shapes. But start with that. Don't go from shape one to all five shapes. Go from shape one, house of blues extension, shape four, and then find those little avenues out and back into each shape. All right, everybody, I hope that lesson was helpful for you. If you wanna see more lessons like this, please subscribe. As you're probably aware, these videos I make take a long time to create. I'm always committed to quality and creating innovative resources that demystify the fretboard, help you learn more efficiently and understand the context of all the things that you're learning. If you wanna support this channel, you can do so for as little as $1 a month at patreon.com slash palmusic. I also host twice weekly small group video lessons where you could join by video. We could interact face to face. It's a cool little community, so check it out and I hope to see you there. All right, everybody, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you had a great time with this lesson. Let me know what you think, leave a comment if you liked it. Click the like button. If you wanna see more lessons like this, please subscribe and I will see you in the next lesson. Happy playing.
Before I go, I just want to say thank you to all of the current PAL Music patrons for your ongoing support, and a special thanks to Cam Chernichan, Robert McCain, and William Spencer, who are three of my higher level patrons at patreon.com slash palmusic. Happy playing, and I'll see you guys next time.